started in the back because of an engine change. He's driven it up to second place by the finish. And if, if Stacy could have just gotten Biffle and Wimmer to battle a little bit longer, he could have been a part of that battle for the win as, as well. That car has really run at the end of this race. Oh, oh total hard hey. crash. Jeff Green, turn one. Major crash in the corner. Tony Reigns. You okay, pal? Yeah, I'm hard. is just thickening for the way race win, the way that 59 car was running. Let's just hope that Jeff Green and those guys are okay down there in the chart. It sounded like the radio transactions yeah, were positive. Inside of four laps to go, don't know if we'll see the red flag or not, as you see Jeff Green climbing from the car. Those things are hard to get out of, aren't you, Michael? Oh. You ought to be what you are. I was going to say you ought to be my size, but you are. Yeah, I am. <laughs> You ought to be my size and try it. You know, Tony Reigns is obviously involved in that crash because he's limping down pit road in the Mike three McLaughlin three. as well. The, there was a three cars involved in that wreck. I didn't, didn't see where it started it, but Jeff took the, the big hit on the deal. I think they should. I don't. There's Jeff Green. Doesn't appear that the red flag is part of the plan here, Benny. No, we will not see the red flag. So this race is going to finish under caution. Less than four laps to go. By the time the pace car gathered up the field, they come to three laps to go here. So this race will finish under the caution flag. And it's going to be Scott Wimmer picking up his third NASCAR Bush Series win of 2002. Here's the accident. McLaughlin. McLaughlin makes contact with Jeff Green at the worst possible spot at about 150 miles per hour. Jeff Green gets, gets turned around and bashed in the wall. In the, and luckily, there wasn't a lot of fuel in the gas tank. You could see the way that car was just squared off at the back of the roof. And you know, Benny, I can't explain to you... That 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 is the most. That's the softest blow you'll get in a race car. Is when you back into the wall because you see how all that folded under. All that energy was absorbed by the back of that race car, dissipating it, caving in and crushing in the back. Now you head on into the wall like that with that engine, them frame horns up there in the front, and hit. It'll get your attention. You know what? It's like Mike McLaughlin didn't have brakes. Watch this. Here's the 33 car, and watch this. McLaughlin comes in and gets in the back of the 33. It's like he ran out of brakes going to turn one. I think you're exactly right, Benny. He went all the way up the side wall. Yeah. Fortunately, Jeff Green climbed from the car and walked away from that accident, but a major crash is going to cause this race to finish under the yellow flag.